of this is only going to be sent to those of you who are here and commented in the question box. You do not have to put your email address in. It is already captured that when you register it. It's going to send it to you to that email address, but do know it's not going to send it till tomorrow, 24 hours later. It takes that long to render the video. But for Q&A, I will turn it off. That is only meant for people who are here in the live, okay? It preserves your privacy as well as just something for you because you stayed here and you're asking questions and you're really trying to get your mind around to learning it, okay? All right, everybody, so let's go ahead in. I'll show you how you can get a copy of the slides in just a few minutes also, because I'll send those out to people, but there's something you'll need to do in the question box. So we'll get that done in just a minute. Digital, digital skills for everyday tasks, that's what we're talking about. Remember what I said about closed captions? If you need to learn anything about Google, this is the website to go to, google.com slash grow. Go here, there's lots to learn. You can talk to the chapter, to the Google partner that invited you, find out what they can do for you or what they need to bring a trainer in for and they will bring me out. I would love to come out again and be able to work with you. Also, if you'll, you're tweeting or posting, use the hashtag grow with Google. It lets the Google team know that this matters to you and they that encourages them to create more like this. And I love being able to provide free training to you. Now, if you're tweeting right here, that is my Twitter handle right here at the lower bottom left-hand side. And the right-hand side is my Instagram. So if you wanna tag me, if you're tweeting or posting, feel free to, I will share you in my stories, repost, retweets, in my reels, whatever I need to do to get you a little bit more visibility. Feel free to do that. That's where you can do that, okay? All right, everybody, let's go ahead in. Everybody ready? Finding the question box, this is good. Let's go, everybody. All right. Now, working remotely, you've probably gotten a little used to that, but I'm gonna ask you to shift this for a moment to think about when you're learning remotely because today you're learning and you're gonna learn some new skills that you may or may not be familiar with. You might've worked with spreadsheets before or maybe you haven't worked with, you worked a little bit with Word but not really with Google Docs at all. Maybe you don't even know where the Google Drive is. So give yourself a little bit of grace and find a dedicated place to really focus on this. So you're not distracted because a lot of times we try to fit things into cracks of time which really just is a disservice to us when we're trying to multitask. Multitask means that we're doing a lot of things and lifting a lot of things all at the same time. But the problem with that is it doesn't get everything across the finish line all at the same time. In fact, a lot of times everything's like right about here at the almost level. And we need to finish this because once you get that done and you feel comfortable and really can apply what you learn, that's when you're powerful. There's a myth out there that knowledge is power and it is not. Knowledge is not powerful unless it is applied. So today we will be talking about applying it. And I'd like for you to think about in your to-do list, what can you do to start putting into place what you learned today? Because while it could be great information, it's just going to be entertainment for you if you don't apply it. And this is 60 minutes of your valuable time you're putting in. We get no more than no, or less than that. All of us get 86,400 seconds in any given day. And knowing that, this is how it can be an investment if you know exactly what am I gonna put this you know, to? What am I gonna take action on? So start thinking about that. What can I add to my to-do list? So now you wanna customize your learning space, take breaks, okay? So we're gonna learn things here. We're not gonna be on all afternoon long, do you know that, or morning long. We're gonna be very, very succinct and I will be very, very um, respectful of your time. But afterwards, you're gonna spend some time applying and practicing this. And as you do this, you wanna give yourself breaks, okay? Because we have a tendency, man, when we're focused, we don't get up from the computer, and now we're sitting for way too long, right? That is part of why I have a standing desk, because I had to go to the doctor, because she said, man, you're just looking, sitting at your chair way too long, your neck is suffering from this, you've got a pinched nerve, so time to go. So make sure you also have the tools that you do a to-do list, and that you also give other people grace, because they're also, learning a lot of new things we've shifted this is not generational this is something that the whole way we communicate and work deal all right yes absolutely Brenda you sure will thank you for commenting in the question box you'll get a copy of today's video but remember it's 24 hours from now okay is when you'll get it okay so let's talk about tracking your to-do list because you've heard me mention that a couple of times or collaborating with your team how many of you by a show in the question box use the number one if you've ever been in this scenario, 
do you have the latest version of the doc that she just sent out the document? Do I, 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 she sent this this morning or he sent this this morning. I think that's the latest version. No, I think there was a change. I got another version of that. No, maybe it was, oh, I got last week's version. There was another one sent out this week. I didn't know about it. Any conversations, I'm seeing a lot of ones with a lot of exclamation marks behind them. This is awesome. So we're going to talk about how you can do this and track your progress often where you're not getting into that. How would you like to cut those conversations out of your vocabulary, right? So let's go. We're going to be talking about how you can put a to-do list together today. We'll talk about how you can create a meeting agenda. So I'll show you how to do that in Google Docs. Do you know that as much as the internet's playing friendly with us, I will show you a live demo. So you will see it on the slides animated for you. And then I'll go to live demo because I know that's easier to see. But again, that all depends on the internet playing friendly with us. And right now I'm getting a lot of green bars, which means we're good to go. But again, let's take a look and see where we'll, what else we'll be covering is building a status update with presentations with Google Slides. And then I also share free resources. So everything that I'm talking about today is 100% free, 100% free with your free personal Gmail account. So you don't even need to have a Google Workspace or if you remember it being called Google Suite, it is now Google Workspace. You don't have to have the paid version or with your free Google account. Now, if you have a Gmail account, you are golden. Sign in and you have access to all of this. If you have your own email account and you have no interest in getting a Gmail account, don't worry about it. All you need to do is go here, see that create an account. So when you go here to gmail.com, go to that little blue link here, that's a text link, you create an account and you will enter your email address. You'll create a password and like any other password protected site online, you'll use your email your password to log in and you'll get a free Google account. So you won't have it as a Gmail. It does not change your email to Gmail. So you're good to go. Hello, 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 Michelle, I see you. Karen, I see you as well. So this is how you log in. Let me show you what it looks like when you do log into your Google tool. Let me just make this bigger. And because I am broadcasting, remember I said I try to go live as much as I can. This is my, um, this is my demo account. My real account in no way has a zero inbox like this. So this is what a Gmail account looks like. And you see that app keypad right here? We trainers call it the app waffle because it looks like a waffle to us, but this is the app keypad. Now I know I made everybody hungry. We're like, what, 45 minutes away from when eating time is gonna happen for some of us. So just wanna let you know that I do think about that. So if you wonder at lunch why you're craving a waffle, it was my fault. But um, we've got Google Apps here. That's the Google App keypad. So you'll click here now in a account. Let me go to manage, manage account. In a Google account, this is what it looks like. So you won't go to Gmail because you've got your own email. But if you want to access all the free tools in a Google account, it will look like this. And you're still looking for that Google App keypad. It exists in both. Okay. So that's how you find that once you've created your account. But that's what you're doing here is creating or signing in in this animation. And the Google app keypad will actually show you the ability to link to all of these tools. So Google Sheets works just like Excel. No additional license, this is free with your free personal Gmail account. You have Google Docs, which works just like Word. You'll see the layout when I bring you in there. It looks exactly the same. So if you're familiar with those programs, this is gonna be a breeze for you. Google Slides looks like PowerPoint. Google Photos, I actually like to connect Google Photos with my phone. So it's connected with my phone. Anytime I take a photo, <clears throat> it is backed up, <coughs> excuse me, um, it is backed up onto my actual Google Drive photos. So because it's in my Google Photos, I don't have to worry about ever losing a photo because I just never want that to happen for whatever reason. I know some people may use you know, Apple Cloud, I mean, whatever you're using, um, but I just happen to like this because I like to manage it right then and there and have control of it. Um, just makes it easier for me. Google Chrome is a powerful browser, so that's a website browser. You also have access to that through the app keypad. And if you're a marketer, Google Chrome is critical because you can get so much marketing data from Google Chrome. There's a lot of research there that you can do that Chrome, Chrome, Chrome provides if you know how to access it. Ooh, try to say that all too fast. And then of course Gmail. 
Plus you have a lot of other tools there too, and they're free. So let's go in and talk about the Google applications. You're going to now go to your Google Drive to access this. If you've never seen the Google Drive, when you go to the app keypad, it looks like a primary colored triangle, okay? That's what you're looking for, see it right there? You'll click on that and that will open up a brand new tab. So again, let me show you what that looks like for real. What that looks like, let's say if you're in your Google account, you click here, you're gonna look for Google Drive, click that and see how it opens up a brand new tab and that's your Google Drive. That's where everything's stored. The same thing if you're in Gmail, click Google Apps, you're looking for that primary color triangle. Do know it could be anywhere down here. Understand you have control of this. If you use Google Ads a lot, I could just click, left click on my mouse, drag it up here, replace it if I want Google Drive to be the first thing I see you can customize it any way that you want so just feel like click and drag you might want to put the things you use the most above this you may see a very very faint gray line I know it's really hard to see because I'm broadcasting but you can see that and you can put the things you use the most above here by default that's what Google will do but you might want to customize it for you okay so Google Drive when you click here it will take you into Google Drive which is where you store everything that is the drive the storage drive and I bring it to your attention because a lot of people don't know where things are saved and the Google tools are always saving so I will show you how to do that in a moment I've got a question here from Yasmin how can you delete the photos from your photo yet keep them in your Google photos oh that's easy so once it's uploaded once you've uploaded it and you can decide Yasmin if you want it to upload like when you're back on Wi-Fi or use mobile data I have unlimited mobile data so I go ahead and use you know let it go by mobile data that way I'm not somewhere weird and drop my phone and, and then have to wait till I'm back on Wi-Fi or be worried that I wasn't back on Wi-Fi. But what you can do here is you can connect it. And then once it's up on Drive, you just look and make sure it's in your Google Photos. Once I confirm that it's there, then I just delete it all from my phone. Keeps it nice and clear, okay? It's just that easy. And then if you make a mistake and you delete it from Google Photos, not to worry, it will keep it in the trash for 30 days, just in case you made a mistake, which I like. And then it'll automatically dump out the trash, okay? So this is the same thing with Google Drive. It does the same thing. It's the same thing with your files. Let's say I delete it, I delete a document or a, a presentation, and now oh, I'm worried, I just remember I need it, I can take it out of trash because it's there for 30 days, okay? So that's where we get started at. All right, let me go through here. So first thing we're gonna do is access this and we're gonna create a to-do list. So this is using Google Sheets. Before I go any further here, any questions, let me know in the question box. For those of you who want a copy of today's slides, just put the number one in the question box. I'll make sure you get a copy of today's slides at the same time you get a copy of the recording, okay? I'm having a hard time accessing all of the files. Oh, if you're having a hard time accessing all of the files, could it, um, is it because you're not in Google Drive? So again, if you're in Google, your Google account, you find Google Drive right here, it's the primary colored triangle, or in your Gmail account, it's right here too. You're looking again, it could be anywhere for you depending on how often you use it, but that's where all the files are stored, okay? How do you, how do you that having Google Photos sync to Google? How do you start, oh, how do you start setting that up? I actually do it with my phone. It gives me the opportunity if I'd like to sync it there. And then also from Google Photos, you can actually and link a phone there. So that's how I do that. I can show you that a little bit more afterwards, okay? Because we're gonna go through the to-do list and that takes a little bit of time or even better, I might send you a video because that might be more helpful to you. That way you can follow along with your phone, okay? So let's go on creating a, uh, a uh, to-do list. Will you discuss Google Forms? Pamela, I won't, but I'll save it to the end and I will cover it because I'm very familiar with all the Google tools. So I'm happy to do that, okay? But I'll go through this and if we have time before the end, I'll cover it, but if not, I will do it at the end, okay? So to create a to-do list, let's see, it's not advancing, there we go. When you're in Google Drive, I, the reason I ask you to start with Google Drive is because everybody's question is, where did my file save? And here's where it's saved. So I like you to start there, that way you have a good visual of where it actually saved. You're going to click on new. When you click on new, it's going to bring up all the things you can start new. You're going to go down to Google Sheets, click on the arrow to the right, and you, in this instance, you're going to say from a template. There's an entire template gallery that is there available to you that's 100% free. So you don't have to worry about doing all the layout yourself. You can stop doing that heavy lifting. So that's what you're seeing in the animation. 
But now let me show you that in real life because sometimes it's a little bit harder when you're trying to follow along and this is your first time within actually using Google. So I'm gonna close these out here and I'm gonna to go to just the Google Drive. I'm gonna click new and see how here if I hover over and go here and hover over this arrow, you'll see blank spreadsheet and from a template. In this instance, we're gonna click from a template and it's gonna be super tiny, so I'm gonna make it bigger just for the broadcasting. You'll see an entire template gallery of things you can use, like putting a budget together, calendars together. I know these are old calendars, but um, pros and cons, a team roster, a wedding planner. My friend used this for all of her wedding schedules too that you're putting together. For work, you can use it to your social media person, web website traffic report, and Google Analytics report. It could be that you're doing a timesheet. I know a lot of small businesses that use Google Sheets to do their payroll. You can use it for project management or for education you have available. All of these templates are 100% free. And when you click on these, so for this instance, I'm gonna click on the to-do list for this example. What happens is you'll see the little ball in the middle thinking, and then what will happen is it becomes immediately the to-do list. So in the Google Sheets, some things I want you to notice as you you navigate this. First, you will not see a save button anywhere. That's because Google's always saving. It's automatic. You don't have to worry about that. The second thing that you'll notice is that it looks a lot like Microsoft Excel. In fact, if you've ever been in an Excel spreadsheet, this is going to just mirror it exactly. So what you can do when you're in here is you can name it whatever you want it to do. Maria's webinar checklist. I can star it to make sure when I start it, that means then it is kept in this special folder. I'm gonna go back to the drive here, and in this special folder, start is everything I start, because I might wanna start something and work on it, because maybe I have lots of files in my Google Drive. It's really hard to find things, so I'm gonna start it to make it easy, because I'm working on that right away. But what I can also do is I can move it. If I already am being really, really organized, because understand being disorganized is where we lose a lot of our times. We just make all sorts of different file names. One day it could be the project budget. Tomorrow it could be uh, Janie's project budget. Tomorrow it could be project budget 2022, May the 26th. It could be named a lot of different things. So it's really good for you to organize your files. We lose about, according to the National Association of Professional Organizers, 15 minutes on any given day looking for something digitally. And I think it's more than that. I know I've looked for things more than 15 minutes. So now is your chance to organize and let's say I wanna put this right here in my, um, my uh, webinar plans folder. So I'm gonna click, I'm gonna hover over here, click on this, and now I can just move it here. And it will be in that file in my drive. So when I'm in my drive, see I've got my webinar plans here. If I click on that, See how it's already in there, Maria's webinar checklist. You can see I've done this demo several times, so it's in there many, many times over, okay? All right, so when we're in here, let me show you some more through the slides exactly what we can do. Now, as we're going through here, you're going to start populating and customizing the sheet because the sheet comes in, it's not changing the template gallery. Now that it's actually saved into your drive is what it automatically does is it comes into your drive, it's automatically saved there, you've not adjusted the gallery. Now the next things you can do is start customizing it. So as you customize here, customize it here, you can add tasks, right? You can put different dates in there, you can change that up. So you can delete rows as well, you can add rows so that you know Every column is listed by a letter. A, B, C is a column when you're looking at a spreadsheet. One, two, three, four is a row, that's the horizontal. So when you're looking for a cell, so every little square here of a spreadsheet is called a cell. When you're looking for a cell address, like here, she is right now working in B4. It is by the letter, the column, and by the actual row. B4 is this actual place that she's working on that date. So now you see exactly if somebody says, hey, I made a change here in um, C5. Okay, so I did something in C5. You'll know exactly what cell they're looking for. And I bring that to your attention because I'm gonna show you some functions in just a moment, okay? Yes, it can be used for budgeting too, Christina. Absolutely, a lot of people will use it even for payroll. I love it for budgeting though, because it already has a budget template in there. So all the formulas are already in there. I just need to customize it to, you know, all the things that I have, my groceries, my expenses I put into training and such. So all of that. 
Now you can add columns and you can populate rows here when you're in Google Sheets. So it's actually showing you in this animation how this is done. So you can put in the name and actually you could put in the title. You see how you're titling that actual column? So it's that whole area that's happening here. And I will do a live demo of this in just a moment, again, if internet is playing friendly. So if you've got any questions about that, let me know that in the question box. Right now, I'll show you the animation from the slide so you can see it in action. You can fill the color, so you can change the color, customize it, anything that you want. You do not have to go with what the template set up. The template only is giving you the outline, and now you customize the text, the color, the information, everything in there to you, okay? You can change the font size. See up here, remember what I said about looking a lot like Google um, or Microsoft Excel? It's because it does. You see it here, you can choose all the different fonts. All right, now once you do that, you can find your sheet in Google Drive because it's automatically saved. So when you're in Drive, see how it's right there at the very top. Anything you just worked on is gonna be at the very top, but sometimes we work on several things. And that's why I sometimes start things or I'll file it already because I like to get myself in the habit of looking things. I wanna get rid of the 15 minutes I lose searching for things a day and really find things. Do understand a little factory too that I think is interesting that if you, what you lose in finding for things, finding things, 15 minutes any given day, actually accounts to 10 days of time. Imagine if you got 10 days at the end of the year back that you could use for other things. That how, that's how much time you spend looking for things. 10 full days is to that, and that's at 15 minutes a day. I swear, I think it's more, okay? All right, so before we do that, let me show you. Before I show you how to do that, let me give you the good visual here of what was actually happening in front of you. All right, so what I can do, see how the formula is already in here? That's what the template does, bringing it from the template gallery, but you don't need to see that. Let's say you want to add a row. So I can click here, and if I right click, it says that I can or insert a column. Let's say I want to add a column. I can insert a column here by putting a column to the left, and right away, I've got a column to the left here. But let's say I don't want that. So I delete the column. And I want to be here and put insert a column. I can go insert and I can go column. Now I can decide left or right. I want to go put one to the right. Okay. So you can do that. Remember what I said about color coding? I can decide here, I want to pick this whole row. So if you click on the number, you pick the whole row. And I don't like green. I'm more of a aqua fan. Oh, that's really bright. Maybe I'm not an aqua fan. Uh, let me go for a richer lilac, okay? So you could do that if you want to customize that. You can also customize the words that you want to put in here. So if you want to change the text here, you can. You can just start typing here which is great to do. Now, remember what I said about it's always saving. So let's say that you share this with somebody. So the way you can share it is if you click share here, I can decide to copy the link and I can share it with everybody if I want to. Anybody who has the link, I can copy the link and I can do that. Now it's instantly shared. So now we're all working at the same time. I can just share this link with them. Or if there's specific people, let's say I don't want to share the link with everybody. I want it really restricted and I only want a few people in here. I can type them in by email address. All right. And by email address, I can share with them here too. And they will get an email alert saying that I've shared a document with them. They will click on the button in their email alert and it'll take them straight to this spreadsheet in this in instance, this Google Sheet, but also Google Document. And I'm taking my time to show you this because this works the same for all the Google tools, okay? So you're gonna see this similar format in all the Google tools, okay? So you could share it with other people. Now let's say somebody messes it up, you know, you've made it all beautiful, nice, got everything right, and all you asked them for was, hey, can you put in, um, or can you let me know if you're going to take care of this? All right, so that's what you've asked them. Now, how have you asked them that? You could either have done it in your share email. Okay, let's say I wanna share it with her and I wanna notify her, so I've got a message here and I'm gonna let Maria know, hey, Maria, I need you to take a look at this and see, can you do this? All right, so that's what I'm gonna ask. When I do that, it will take her right to this area so that she can go to this area and answer the question. So when she clicks on the button in the email she sent, that's what's going to do. But I could also do this. I could right click, go down to comment, see comment down here, click on comment, and then I could say at 
Maria. So it brings up her email. That's the way she gets actually a notification of that. Can you do this part? And I assign it to her and I a comment and she does need to see the file. So she needs access to it. It just verifies that. And then I can save that. So now she's going to get that. When she gets that, she can click on here, come here, actually see what she needs to do, make any changes and say, we'll handle this on Friday. I might change even the date through that. See at this little corner here, you see the little orange up here, that's letting you know there's a comment on this sheet down here also. If you go down to the tab at the bottom, it also shows you there's a comment in C5. You go here right away and I can say, great, done, took care of it, thanks. I could reply, but then I can also check it. So now it's complete. But if I ever want to see the history of all the comments, I can look here at the big comment box next to the share tab. Okay. Now let's say somebody messes it up. Maria just made a mess in there. And she, I don't, I don't want any of the stuff. She, I want to bring back my original look or original formulas that I had. You can here go to here file. And now you're going to look. This is hard for me to see because my camera's in the way. I'm going to go down to version history. And I'm going to see the version history. Every Google tool has this. What that shows you is the way it looked before someone else accessed it. Remember what I said about Google Drive saving all the time? So as it's saving all the time, I want to go back to this version here. Ah, Maria didn't make a mess here. I'm going to restore this version and I can restore it. Now, if I want to, let me say I want to save the current version because I want some of that, but I, she really messed up something big that's going to take a long time. Can I, so I'm going to save this. I'm going to name it and save it, but then I'm going to restore it. So now I have two versions of it and I can copy and paste what I want from one version to another. And now you are taught, you don't have to worry about that. Who has the latest version? You all have the latest version of everything. It's kept up to date in real time. And what's nice is all of this links nicely with your phone. You can sync it well up so that any changes you're made right away. If you don't have unlimited data to your plan, do not worry about it. You can set it so when you're back on Wi-Fi, it updates everything within your Google Drive and everybody has the latest. Okay. That is how that's done. Any questions before I go on to Google Docs? Okay, if you have persons who are not on Google, can you send them another to another email address? Yes, but they will be asked to set up a Google free Google account, okay? To be able to do that. They Now they can see it, they can view it, they can view it, but they cannot edit it and make changes to it without a free Google account. All they're gonna do is set up a Google account for free. It will look just like this. They'll go here, they'll go into their Google Drive, and they'll see everything just like you do, okay? But they just don't see a Gmail. Make sense? All right, let's go into Google Docs. Any questions before we go into the next part? Let me know. Or actually, we're gonna talk about creating a meeting agenda with Google Docs. Whoops, there we go. Clicked on the wrong thing. To access Google Docs, what you're seeing in front of you is also the animation of what's happening there. You're gonna go up here to new and click Google Docs. So remember, we all start everything in Google Drive because that's where everything's saved and we don't wanna lose track of it. You're gonna look for Google Docs, click on new, click on Google Docs. Hover and click over the carrot, the little arrow to the right, and you're gonna go from a template. Just like Google Sheets, Google Docs has an entire template gallery that you can access to, okay? So know that you're doing that all within Drive because that's where we can access everything is in Drive and we can find it saved there. Now you can also access it from your Gmail account or your Google account, but a lot of times I let people know in Drive because you can make sure that you don't lose track of it. Okay, they have to set up Google to edit it. Yes, Pamela. That is true. All right, but just to view it, like for example, let's put, let's say you've got a board of directors and you've got a budget together. So the people who are working on the budget, the program managers, maybe the directors, um, your, your CFO, your bookkeeper, they can edit it, but you're gonna send it out to the board. So you just want them to view it. So they don't need to do it. They're just gonna view it. They're just gonna look at it. That's all they're gonna do. That's good. It's gonna look like an attachment to them, even though you're sending it through Google Drive, you're sharing it that way, okay? Just because they don't have a Google account. Make sense? All right, so now you're gonna format your document. When you're in your document, you remember you go to the template gallery, you click on the agenda that you like, everything is there as far as the outline, but now it's time to customize it to the colors, to the text, anything that you want. 
Now you can update the text, figure out the text that you want. Remember what I said about if you're used to using any of the Microsoft tools, this is just like them, but no license fee at all and easily accessible from any machine. As long as you have internet access and when you don't have access, as long as you already have it connected to your laptop, tablet, or to your mobile, you still have access to it even when you're not connected to the internet and it updates whenever you are connected, okay? Now you can see here, you can put content in. Once you put that content in, now just like I showed you in Google Sheets, how to collaborate and share comments with each other, that's the same thing that you do in Google Docs. You see it happening there? Remember what I said about everything I taught you a moment ago, the reason to go slow first was to show you that this exact function shows up in all Google tools. So once you know it in one Google tool, you're golden for the rest, okay? All right, so let me show you what this looks like in real life, okay? I'll come back to that because I do want to spend a little bit more time on this. Let me bring up the demo here. Is the demo helpful to everybody? Let me know in the, the drive. I won't, I mean, in the question box. I won't do it if it's not helpful to you. Um, I'm Google Drive my phone, but I'm only able to see recent offline trash backup settings. Um, yes, no, you, in, if you're in Google Drive, it's automatically saving here. See everything here that's in the drive, that's automatically saving here. That's why um, Yolanda, um, it's all there. Now, if you have a lot of things, it could be everywhere. If you've never starred or filed anything, it's like a big messy desktop. It's all the stuff, just piles and piles of your files. Okay, so just you may have to look around and toggle on down depending on how much stuff you saved in there. But yes, everything is there in your drive. It's all saved there. Okay, and you'll see your storage amount here too. See that to the left? Everybody is given for free in their personal Gmail or free personal Google account. You're given 15 gigabytes. You can buy more storage, but 15 gigabytes is a lot, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and take a look and see what's happening here in the checklist or in the Google Drive agenda. So remember what I said, you're gonna go to Google Drive, or Google Docs agenda, saying that too fast. All right, so you're gonna go here. I can't see because of my camera. I'm sure I can see over here, there we go. And from a template, okay? All right, from a template, see how that populates? The template gallery comes up again. These are all free if you need resumes, personal news, newsletters, work, meeting notes, NDAs, consulting agreement, training proposals, licensing, I mean, there's just, it goes on and on and on. Um, and you can use any of these. Once you click on it, you do not at all change um, the actual document here in the template gallery. All you do is you bring it into your drive. It brings it in, saves it to your drive. Now you can name it, remember what I said, this is Maria's meeting notes. Oops, hit, hit the space bar by accident. Maria's meeting notes, I want to save it at the very top. I do need it filed under the marketing team. Today, you guys are my marketing team. Can I get save it there? I don't like this font, so I'm gonna change that to Arial. Let's see how I've got all these fonts here available to me. And I like this, oh, I put the S there, didn't I? I'm gonna highlight that, click and drag, highlight. I'm gonna make it bold. I want to put a little color to it, um, maybe not to the text, but maybe behind it. I want it to highlight it. I could do that, okay? I can keep each area here. I can click each section away if I want you to. So you can do that on the left-hand side, make adjustments here or like they were showing. You can highlight this, see the comment box come up, click a comment, and I can say, at Maria, you need to do will you fill out this part? And I can assign Maria to it and she will get that email, it will click through and she can come here and make an edit to it. She does have to be given the ability to edit or else if you just want her to comment here, she can make a comment, that's all she'll be able to do. Remember when we share, we can decide restricted or we can decide that we want everybody to be able to make an edit or just view, comment, edit if you want and then you can get specific about sharing it by people and even give them a note, or if you don't wanna notify them just yet, you just click that off. You don't have to worry about that just yet, okay? So that's how you can share it. And then when they get it in email, what happens is they can just click on that and it takes them right here to this comment and they can make a comment or edit however you set it for them, whatever permissions you gave to them, okay? Now what's really cool here is if we go to file, version history, we can see all the changes that were made to the document and you can restore any one that you want. Remember I said, it's the same functionality in all the Google tools that you're seeing here. 
okay? What's nice too is just like Sheets, so remember I showed you Google Sheets, those are the spreadsheets. When I click File, and I'm gonna have to find my download, sorry. I just covered that really, really, really well. Let me get here, minimize this because I cannot see. Um, download. When you're in Google Sheets, see you can download as an Excel spreadsheet or a PDF. So let's say now you're in your Google Docs and you can do the same thing. I wanna download this as um, a Microsoft Word. You could do it that way. But if this were a resume, I would only do it in a PDF. And the reason being is because anytime you type something here and you send it to somebody, let's say with a Microsoft Word program also, if you made it really beautiful and you have an inch layout on the top and bottom and one and a half or a half an inch on the side, but they have half an inch top and bottom and an inch on the side, now you're left with something that looks like a jumbled mess because it adjusts to their margins. PDF stands for Portable Document Format and it preserves the quality and the look of your document to the original form. It also is easier to send online if you're sending it by email or by attachment because it's a smaller storage size document. Okay, make sense to everybody? All right, let me show you then here. When you're sharing with others, you see you have this ability here to make sure they can edit or to give them the ability to comment or that they can just view. So everything that I showed you there is walked through on the slide. Can you update the fonts if you have one that isn't listed? No, LaDonna, you cannot bring in additional fonts. Unfortunately, you cannot do that, but you can download it and add your font to the document if you want to do that. So you can do all of your work here. And then when you download it to your program, you can download it, let's say as a Microsoft Word and add your your um, font in there or if you want to import it into Canva you can do that too okay all right so you see how you control the files and you control see who actually can control it remember I gave you that um, that uh, scenario a moment ago about let's say you're working on a budget and you're sharing it with the board and then you're sharing it with other people this is how you can also share okay and how you can get really specific about who can actually edit and who's actually going to just view the document now let's say you're going to do a status update any questions before we go yet go here okay can i create folders to store documents to organize them yes absolutely let me show you that too great question let me just take a moment to do that so i'm in my google drive and i want to click new and folder and then i want to call this let me get my water out of the way here maria's folder maria's desk <laughs> for lack of a better name and see how that just shows up here. Now I have this whole area that I can populate with folders, I can organize things, so I can be able to, to manage those folders if I want to. If I right click here, I can also change the color. If I like to color code my folders, I can do that too. And it can help me with color organization if that's something that I like to do. So you can do all of that. Great question. Any other questions before we go and talk about how to use slides? Yes, yes, Carrie, it is. Just because you've commented in the question box, you'll get a copy of today's video, but it will not show up till 24 hours later. So tonight, do not think I forgot you. The system will actually send this out to you as soon as the actual video renders. It just takes that long because all the trainers, we actually use the same platform, okay? So this is how to build a status update here. Let's talk about this in Google Slides. Now, Google Slides behaves just like PowerPoint, okay? So what you're gonna go do again is, remember, now we're getting used to this. We go into the drive. Remember, think about what you wanna learn to apply and what you wanna add to your to-do list to try out yourself. You're gonna go down to Google Slides, click on the little arrow to the right, and you'll look at the template gallery. Remember, there's a whole bunch of free templates here. Everything that I'm talking about is free through your personal Gmail or your free, free personal Google account, right? So now you can pick a template, choose one that works for you. It brings it into your drive. Once it brings it into your drive, you're not going to start amending it. Everything like we've done before, we can change the title up here. We can put a star. We can organize it by file. And now we can start customizing everything here. Okay. We can also choose from different layouts. So if you look here, watch the animation. You actually have control of the different layouts too. And remember what I said, the save button is always missing because it's automatically saving all the time. Okay, so now you can go in here and change all of this is what you're seeing. Customize it any way you see fit. You can also put different values, different visuals in there if you like. You can change the color. 
change the theme if you like. You can really do a whole lot within your slides. You can see insert image and you can search the web. If you're ever doing this live, I never do that live because the web can be a wild, the wild, wild west. And because of that, I don't ever want to just guess what will come up. But if you're doing this yourself, you can pick and choose and bring in um, different video or different images that you'd like to do or from your own library. You can do that as well. OK. Hello. Hello, Donna. I see you. And now you can share that presentation. Remember that share button. It's the same for all the different Google tools. See how it's working just the same. That was the reason I did spend so much time at the very beginning on that, because it is something. Once you've mastered it, you know how to use all the Google tools and how to be able to share with them, how to be able to save. So what you're seeing in the animation is exactly what I've been walking you through in the live demonstration. See if you're sharing it to a non-Google account, see what happens. You see the little thing that came up? So you'll see that too when you get a copy of today's slides and a copy of the actual video of this, the recording, and that will be sent to you in 24 hours, okay? So let me show you how we got there before we do a recap because I do like to give you the live demo. So I'm in my Google, I'm gonna say, let's say I'm in my free Google account, okay? So it doesn't look like my Gmail account, it looks like my free Google account. And I'm gonna click on the app keypad, I'm gonna to go to my drive, and I'm gonna click new, and I'm gonna go hover over Google Slides here, over the arrow, and I'm gonna say from a template. All right, and when I'm looking at from a template, I can have a personal presentation, work-related, status report, a pitch, a consulting proposal. Anybody who out, who's out there that's a freelancer or who does work with proposals, they're all right here and ready-made for you. And you can customize them also for education. You can do that too. All of this works. So um, we're going to choose this one. And once we do that, remember, it brings it into our drive. We name it here. We customize it. Maria's idea. I'm going to leave it right here right now, but I'm going to start it because I want it to show up. I'm working on it, but let's say I want to view, uh, let's see, I want to work on my theme. I don't like this one. I like this one better. I want to go more for this, so it changes everything to that. But let's say I don't like this slide, so I can click on it, and I can right-click and delete it, um, or I can go here and I can edit the actual layout so I can look and arrange every order or I can actually add things on and reformat things too and I can change the theme and then I can share it and if I wanted to if I wasn't using a tool to record everything right now then this would that this would kick us off what I can do is I could share it as a slideshow too even with presenter notes if I wanted to and just show the slideshow so it does everything that PowerPoint does right okay Everybody feel comfortable with that or anybody need me to show you anything while I'm in here? Feel free to let me know in that question box as I go through a recap. So if you send this to me at a Yahoo account, when I go into a Google account, will it be able to automatically see it? Yes, Denise, you'll be able to automatically see it. It's just if you need to edit it, you may need to create a free Google account. They are free, 100% free, and they do not change your email to Gmail at all. Okay, if you want me to show you that, then I will be happy to show you that too can um okay perfect i think i got all the questions everybody oops it toggled to the very start of the question box hold on yeah just want to make sure i got everybody's question so what you're seeing here all right what you can see here is the recap of the to-do list here of how we did that the next thing you'll see is i showed you how to put together an agenda where you can go to the template gallery how you can customize things how you can save things in your google drive where to look for them in your google drive and how to share right and what it looks like and how you can share things at whatever level from edit to just view that you want or just comment i also showed you how to do a slide presentation as far as what it looks like to update and prepare i didn't walk you through a full one but i did show you how to get started okay that is the three things that we covered today there are other apps there that are 100% free. You heard Pamela talk about forms a minute ago. So I will show you forms at the end of this because I do want to be cognizant of everybody's time. But also, we are six minutes before time, so I do have some time for Q&A. We also have Google Sites. Those are free sites that you can create, free websites that you can use internally. So I work with a company that does use them all internally for their HR books, their onboarding um, documents. They do that all within Google Sites. But I know some businesses that actually use Google Sites for their business 
business. That's their site that people go to, their website. And it really is nice because just like all the other Google, Google tools, it comes with a free template gallery that you can use there. Now do understand there are some people who actually will like sell customized themes for sites, Google Sites, and also for Google Slides that you can upload. So you can do a lot more than what the template gallery gives you but you do have access to this tool for free in your personal Gmail or your Google account. Um, and then of course you've got Google Calendar where we can set up invites or Google Meet, which works just like Zoom. And again, all of these are free. So I encourage you to explore those. I would love to know now as we go through this, what your questions are, but what's your next step? What are you going to take and actually apply that you learned? Remember, knowledge is not power unless it's applied my friend joe says it so best and i love joe to death and that is she says knowledge is knowing that the tomato is a fruit applied knowledge is not putting it in the fruit salad so what are you going to apply i'd love to know what you apply let me know in the question box and then um, as i'm answering questions i will i will go through them pamela i haven't forgotten you in forms if you're still here let me know in the question box and i will take you through google forms as well but you can experiment by going directly here. So if you don't want to go into Google Drive, you can use these URLs if you want to screenshot those because you're not going to get a copy of the slides till tomorrow, so 24 hours. If you want to screenshot those because you're going to add that to your to-do list, I'm happy to do that. Okay, I see a lot of people. Google Slides, perfect. Oh my gosh, little favorite, okay, favorite quote. <laughs> Denise, thank you, I'm glad it was helpful to you. I need to organize my Google Workspace. Oh, you and me both, we need to do that, Yasmin, I'm with you. Um, I'm gonna start utilizing the to-do list, organize my Google Drive, setting up folders. Perfect, Google Slides, absolutely. Yeah, who knew, right, that all of this was right there for you, the to-do list, and do know, I believe Canva has some Google Slide themes that you can use too, if I'm not wrong. Um, I'm glad, I'm glad, Vicki, I'm glad it was helpful. The share functions, absolutely, Dr. Shelley. Rhonda, Google Slides, I know there's a lot, there's a fan base building here for Google Slides, I'm glad to hear that. Definitely need to use my Google Assist with photo organizing, yes. Yes, I'm glad it was really, really helpful because again, I'm not trying to sell you anything. These are all 100% free, everything that I ever share, but a lot of people don't know how to use it. So let's say you wanna use this even more. You wanna go deep dive. Let's say you wanna know how to run payroll on Google Sheets. So let's say you do want to do that. You're going to go to this URL, g.co slash applied digital skills. I'll move my little pointer out of the way here so you can take a snapshot of it. These lessons are 100% free. You can go all the way up to being an expert in Google Sheets. But now let's say if you want to um, actually use this and get certified in it, the certification costs $79 but you can do everything up to the certification and be just ready for before you take the test. Then you don't have to take the test. You don't pay for that unless you test. Some people want the certificate because they wanna put it in their personnel folder. They wanna show they really are an expert at Google Sheets, at Google Docs, at Google Slides, spreadsheets. They wanna show all of that. So you might wanna do that too. Now also, you can find a lot of answers to your questions as you're working through this here at the Learning Center. So make sure you save a copy of this too. Again, you'll get a copy of all of this in 24 hours, but this will help walk you through and answer a lot of questions that a lot of people already have asked and there's answers to there right there at your fingertip. No matter when you decide to do your to-do list, it could be at two o'clock in the morning, right? Some of us, that's when we really get time to ourselves to really think, and you might wanna download this app. This is Google Primer and it is available on Android and Google Play or on iPhone in the App Store. This provides lesson plans to you. It's 100 percent free and once you download it you no longer need to even be connected to the internet to get the updates and it'll help you with some best practices some great lesson plans I like to use this even though all my degrees are in marketing it helps me with business planning and really stay focused on what's up and coming that I need to be aware of within my growing business okay so now anything that you need to learn you're going to go here and reach out to the Google partner who invited you because they can be sure you get access to this and also, if they need to bring me back, I'm happy to do that too. So real-time to-do list, I see that, right? We don't have to worry about a million and gazillion versions, right? Everything, yes, but it's free, Anna, it is free. Again, there's lots of great tools out there. I just happen to be a free or small fee person. I'm a bootstrapper. Uh, let's see, be shy to use Google. Now I feel more comfortable, that's good. Annette, feel free to, to review this, this video recording many times. Slow me down, speed me up. Where you feel comfortable because there are some spots where i did have to speed up a little bit in the interest of time okay so feel free to do that or go here let me not flash too much in front of you go here to apply digital skills so you can really take a deeper dive into videos and lessons that are a little bit more 
you know, you, they're, you're working alongside with them. So they're, they're comfortable pace as opposed to trying to cram all this in. Now we are at the top of the hour. So as you're asking questions, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the recording. This is the money slide, by the way, as 